goodbye. My love. Once, there was a man and his wife. They lived in a small house by the sea. They loved each other very much. The man was a fisherman. He went out every day to catch fish. He sold the fish at the market. Then he bought food and other things for their home. Their life was poor, but they felt happy. One day, the woman got sick. The man was very worried. He loved her a lot. He wanted her to feel better. So, he went to see the best doctor in the village. Doctor, please help my wife, he said. The doctor nodded. Yes, there is a cure, he said. I will give her medicine, it will help her. The doctor gave her strange plants and drinks. But the woman did not get better. She got worse and worse. The doctor said, I can try more medicine. But I need more money. The husband sold everything he had to pay for her medicine. But still, she did not get better. She grew weaker each day. Finally, she died. The husband cried day and night. His heart was broken. After she died, the husband put her body on a small boat. He sent her out into the sea, as people in the village did when someone died. Goodbye, my love, he said. I will see you again one day. Up in the sky, an old man looked down. He saw the husband crying by the sea. He also saw the little boat with the man's wife. The old man felt sad for the husband. He wanted to help. I will go down and see him, the old man said. The old man appeared by the sea. He walked up to the crying husband. Dear man, why are you so sad? He asked. The husband looked up. His eyes were full of tears. My wife is gone, he said. She was sick and then she died. I loved her very much. The old man thought for a moment. Then he said, I know a cure. I can help her come back to life. The husband shook his head. No, 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 he cried. I tried many cures. The doctor tried everything. But nothing worked. The old man looked into his eyes. This cure is different, he said. But it will cost you something. I have nothing left to give, the husband said. I sold everything. I have nothing left. Then, Give me three drops of your blood, the old man said. Go to your wife on that boat. Cut your finger and let three drops of blood fall on her lips. She will come back to life. The husband's eyes lit up. I will do it, he said. The husband took a sharp stone and jumped into the sea. He swam to the boat with his wife. He climbed onto the boat and looked at her. Then he cut his finger with the stone. Three drops of blood fell from his finger onto her lips. For a moment nothing happened. The husband waited. Suddenly, his wife's hand moved. Her eyes opened. My love, she said. The husband felt joy. You are alive. He held her close. They kissed. They sat on the boat for a long time, hugging each other. They were very happy. The husband turned to thank the old man. But the old man had disappeared. The husband and wife went back to their small home. 
They were poor, but they were together again. They felt happy. As time passed, something strange happened. The wife became more beautiful. She glowed like the sun. The men in the village saw her beauty. One man, a rich fisherman, noticed her the most. He heard her strange story. He wanted her for himself. He waited for a day when her husband was away. Then he went to her house. Hello, he said. You are very beautiful. Why do you live a poor life? I am rich. I can give you anything you want. Leave your husband. Be my wife. The wife looked down. She thought about her life. She thought of her husband and their hard times. She was tired of being poor. You are right, she said. I had a tough life. I even died once. Now I am alive again. But life is still hard. I will go with you. But first, I must pay my debt to my husband. The rich man nodded. Okay, he said. Do what you need. A week passed. The husband came back home. His wife was quiet but did not explain why. One evening, they walked on the beach. Suddenly, she fell on a rock. A ring fell from her pocket. She picked it up quickly. Where did you get that ring? He asked. They couldn't afford rings. A friend gave it to me, she said. Who? He asked. I, I wanted to tell you later, she said. What is happening? He asked. Tell me now. She looked at him sadly. I loved you once, she said. But now I do not. I want a better life. I want to be with someone rich. Let us end this now. She took a sharp stone and cut her finger. Take my blood, she said. This will pay my debt to you. She lifted her finger to his lips, but he moved away. No, he said. I will not take it. A strong wind blew. Three drops of blood flew from her finger into the sea. Suddenly, the wife was gone. She disappeared. The husband looked around. Where are you? He cried. But there was no answer. All he saw was a tiny black insect flying over the sea. Soon, the villagers saw the insect. It buzzed loudly and bit people. It drank their blood. They named it the mosquito. The story of the poor husband and his wife spread. The villagers said, this is a lesson. Stay true to the one you love. The husband lived alone by the sea. The mosquito never came to his house. The debt was never paid.